Hi, I'm Alex, and today we're going to look at how to edit custom reports, uh, but a little bit faster in case you have a lot of data providers. So what we're going to be doing is changing the number of significant figures that are reported, as well as the units. So we're going to be changing the defaults within SDK, and then I'm going to show you how to actually edit the text file that defines custom reports so that you can edit more than one at a time, uh, so that you can edit maybe if you're reporting about 15 items, you can edit all of those within a matter of minutes instead of having to click through the GUI every time. So here I just have a scenario. Uh, this is a simple homing maneuver using some finite maneuvers with Astrogator. And so this is kind of a complex maneuver. And say I was really interested in determining what exactly my Keplerian elements were to maybe six significant figures. And I wanted my semi-major axis in meters instead of kilometers, which is usually the default. So what I could do is click on my satellite and then go to Report and Graph Manager and Classical Orbital Elements. That's the classic report. This is in installed style. You can get this immediately for any satellite object that you have. Again, I don't really want my semi-major axis in kilometers and I want some more significant figures. So what I can do is I can create a duplicate of this report and edit the data providers. So I'm going to come to my installed styles in the Report and Graph Manager. I'm going to click on Classical Orbit Elements I'm going to right click and then click duplicate. Now here I have my own report with the same elements. So you can see them all on the report contents. But so what I wanted to do here was change the units of my semi-major axis. So to do that I have to click on semi-major axis and then click on units. So use defaults is checked by default. So I have to click that and now it won't use the default units of the scenario. I can choose them myself. And I want it in meters so I can click meters. Uh, I can change that. That's great. For now, I'm just going to leave that as it was, so I can do a little faster a bit later. But say I wanted to change the significant figures. Here, I would just click on the object. Say I wanted more significant figures in my eccentricity. I'd have to click on eccentricity and then click options. And here, under data format, I have the number of decimal digits. Say I want six, and that's it. Now, this could get slow. If I have, instead of six, even six might take a long time. Say I had 15 different elements that I was looking to report. Going through all these menus might be time consuming. So what I can do instead, I'm just going to hit OK for now so I have this copy. So I have a style here, Classical Orbit Elements. I'm just going to change the name so I can differentiate it. Classical Orbit Elements Test. So what I can do, I'm just going to close my Report and Graph Manager. What I want to do now is go to my File Explorer. So here, I'm on this PC, Documents, and then my STK12 folder, because that's the version that I'm using. From there, I'm going to go to Config, and then I'm going to go to Styles. Object here is my satellite. And here I see a .rst file. So this is a report styles file. So what I can do is right-click on this and edit with a text editor, which is Notepad++ for me. And here I see the report in a little bit of a different sense. So if I scroll down, anytime I see begin element, it's showing me an element that it's reporting. So in this case, here's the semi-major axis, begin element, name, classical elements, J2000 semi-major axis. So the first thing I wanted to do was change a number of significant figures. So to do that, I can just add a line. When you add this line, you want to make sure it's between line style and name. So it can be anywhere in between, as long as it's in between. And I'm going to put format, and then seven white spaces. Then what I'm going to do is put a percent sign, a period, a six, because I want six significant figures, and then an F. So just to explain this notation a little bit, the percent sign and the period are just to denote that you're going to be changing the significant figures. And then the F is for floating point. If I wanted to do scientific notation, I could do an E lowercase or an E capital. I want floating point, and I want six. So now my significant figures will have been changed for this data provider. I can do this for every data provider in my port in this text file, and I can edit it within minutes. I can edit all six of them or all 20 of them instead of having to go through the GUI. The other thing I wanted to do was change the units. So to do this, we have to add a line at the very end. It says begin in all capitals, and then units. I'm going to enter, I'm going to tab, and then I'm going to change to meters. From here, I'm just going to put end units. So if we take a look at this block of text I just added, 
So this is for SDK. It's going to read this file. It's going to say, OK, so begin units. I'm looking for a unit. We enter the unit that we want to use, meters, and then we end units. To make sure that this takes, we just want to change use scenario units to no. And then we save the file. So now, if we go back to SDK, we click on our satellite, we go to Report and Graph Manager, we go back to our classical orbit elements test, we generate. We now have our semi major axis in meters, and we also have six significant figures for our report. So again, this is a really fast way to edit both the units and the significant figures on any of the data providers in your report. If you have you know, a lot of data providers, this could be a really great time saver. Uh, and it you know, could be automated should you choose to write a script to edit the text file if you have that many data providers. And that's it. What do I even say? Thanks for watching. <laughs>